In this workshop, I'm going to lead you through two English measures. Shakespeare was obviously familiar with the character of the measure. Um, he often references them in clever word play in many plays. And in the quote that I have chosen, full of state and ancientry, he compares them to the mannerly modest proceedings of a wedding ceremony. And this seems to me to encapsulate the idea of decorum and time-honoured tradition. And it sits well with the stately form of the measure and also with instruction on style in dance from Caruso, Negri and Arbo to show grace, elegance, decorum and a pleasing appearance. So our measures today should be fluid, neat and undulating. The man should appear strong, not stiff-legged, his left hand on the sword hilt, the woman would have arms curved gently inwards with palms towards the body, head erect and eyes level, and the arms should move gently but not cross the body. Now you may be familiar with measures such as the Quadrant Pavan, the Old Almain, the Black Almain, the Earl of Essex measure, and these are all from manuscripts associated with the Inns of Court in London. One description of a measure is an English dance with a fixed choreography and to a specific tune. Now, excitingly, three new measures came to light fairly recently and were brought to public notice in 2018 by Anne Day and Jennifer Thorpe in the Historical Dance Society Journal, Volume 4, which is actually available for free download on the HDS website. So the Dulwich manuscript from the Dulwich College archives can be matched with music in the Mulliner book of 16th century dance and sacred music. And these dances are La Bonetta, La Downcella and La Chemise. So now have a look at the appropriate section of the original manuscript and at the modern translation. And then I will take you through the figures of La Bonetta and La Downcella. I'm going to begin the practical part of this workshop with La Bonetta. Because it's quite a, a calm and stately measure, um, it'll give you a chance to move your limbs a little bit and warm up a little bit. First of all, I just want to go through the steps. There aren't many steps to do with this dance. You have singles, so a single step, a single and join the little rise and fall and another single. That's all you have to do with single steps. Double steps. Step, step, step and join. Okay, quite simple. Let's just do that again. Step, step, step and join. You also have sideways steps in this dance. So simple step to the side, step to the side. And one more step, a reprise. We're going to do the reprise as a single diagonal step back and then joining the feet. This is going to be in the same time that we did the double steps. So that's all you need to do the dance. Those are the only steps you need. And I'm going to go through them without music before we try with the music. There are three sections to this dance. Each section has its own music. So it's quite easy. Once you, once you know the music, it's actually quite an easy uh, measure to do. 
So it begins with two singles and a double. So, single, single, double, and two sideways steps. Sideways, sideways, and one reprise. Reprise, back. That is repeated. Single, single, double, side, side, reprise. Let's just do that again. Single, single, double, side, side, reprise. Single, single, double, side, side, reprise. You may have noticed that when I do the double step, I do a little bit on my other foot on the toe. So it will be step and then up onto the toe and then flat again and together. This helps it to be slightly undulating and gives it a little more grace, hopefully. Okay, so we're going to do that bit with the music now. just used, you are going to start the next movement with that, the next step with that. If it's tricky to start with at the beginning, just try and hold on to that foot. So if you've got a single and a double, side and side and reprise, this left foot has just been used. So to start off with, you could just keep it slightly on the toe so you don't forget which foot to go with next. And then the next step will begin with that foot. Um, I found that quite <coughs> useful for people to remember. Okay. 
So we've done our doubles. We don't need a lot of practice of those. Let's do those with the music. starting on the right foot. A double and six paces. Six and side. Okay, let's do that one more time and then we'll do it with the music. So a left double. Six paces. Side, reprise. Repeat it on the right foot. Six paces. Reprise. Side and then reprise. Okay. Obviously, I'm doing this in the house without a lot of space, so my paces are not as lively as it would be nice for them to be when you're doing it properly. So let's do that with the music. Going to start with a double and then six paces. <laughs> Six paces. Six paces. 
uh, you don't need to bend at all. It is simply a sinking and then rising again with a slight inclination of your head. Um, after the first reverence, which would be to the most important person in the room, you can then turn to your partner and you can reverence your partner in the same way. A lady and the man. So those are the references. This next dance is an Almain, and as an Almain, it has a distinctive style of step. And they have a little, uh, a little lilt, and they have a little raised leg at the end of each step. So you'll have singles and doubles. So a single step, so a step and a raise, and a step and a raise. So the foot is lifted just in front of the body, not too far across, not too high. Um, and for men, it's a, a, a way to show off their handsome manly calves. For us ladies, we can't really see what's going on particularly, but you might just see your toe picking out at the front of your skirts. So we have a single and a little rise on the toe of the standing leg. Let's just do that again. A single, a single. Okay, so with those singles we can also go sideways. So a single and a single. Just do those one more time. Well, let's try some this way. So we'll do a single and a single and a side and a side. And a single and a single, and a side, and a side. Okay, so it's a simple um, flowing our main step. And you have a double as well. So the double will be step, 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 and raise. Do that again this way. Step, step, step and raise. Let's do a couple down this way. So step, step, step. And step, step, step. So that's your L main singles and doubles. So we're going to do La Dancella now. And um, this is my favourite of the three measures that we're doing today. Um, it's described as a pretty Almain, and I think it is. This time we're going to start with outside feet. So if you have a partner, the person who's standing on the left is going to start with the left foot, which is the usual foot that you would start with. And the person who's standing on the right is going to start with the right. And you'll see as you get through the dance that it actually makes quite a lot of sense and really helps you to engage with your partner. And there's a step at the very end that looks a lot better if we do it that way, um, use, both using outside feet. Um, okay, so we're going to begin with the steps. Um, the first section, and there are four, four sections, four different um, types of music, four different tunes. And the first is going to be two doubles forward. And then two sides. And one double forward. And a reprise. I'm going to do that again. Two doubles forward. Two sides. One double forward and a reprise. Okay, I'm not going to repeat that without the music because you've done very similar things before and I know it's probably messed with your head because you've got a lot of different, three different dances to do at the same time. But uh, we'll do it with the music, that first section. Uh, we can now put on our reverences as well. So we're going to have the man is going to do a reverence and then the woman 
or the person on the left is going to do reverence, and then the person on the right. If you don't have a presence, an important person in the room, then you can do this with a man doing the first reverence and the lady doing the second. So that's how I'm going to do it. singles forward, not too far, and a double to turn back in the way you were originally going. Okay, let's do that again. So, following our doubles and our sides and our reprises, second part. So two singles, turn out, and with a double, face the other way two singles, and turn out, and a double to get back to where you were. Okay. Now, let's try that bit with the music. once in the dance. So single, single, 
double, and side, and side, and a double back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is play all the dance up to there, and we've got one little thing to add to it after. So we're starting with our two doubles. We've got our reverence first, so this is the man's reverence. And now this is the ladies. Outside feet. Side to side. Double forward. And press back. And repeat. in the line of dance and remember you're on your outside feet and you will go one, two, three, four and a reprise back. Let's just do that again. So you're going to make a sort of a, a V shape with your partner. Okay, so you'll be you'll be going one, two, three, four reprise and if you're on the left hand side of this partnership one two three four and reprise one two three four reprise let's try that with the music it is quite fast You'll notice it's a bit faster than I was doing it. So let's have a go. Side steps and a reprise twice. together now and we'll dance La Dune Sella. Uh, we're going to go through it twice. Don't forget you're starting with outside feet and you're starting with two doubles. So 
start with the reverence. Man's reverence. And a woman's.